Hey everybody, I'm here today with an expandable hose demonstration of it getting longer and shorter. This will be a quick explanation of sort of how it works and demonstration of it working. So what I have here in my backyard is I have this expandable hose. It's currently connected to a sprinkler, but you can connect it to any type of um, end device that you want, whether it's a sprinkler, whether it's a nozzle or anything else. Now, essentially, right now i can't i bought this a while ago so i don't remember the exact length but if you take a look at the length right now okay it goes across with just a few swivels and curls okay from over here which is where the hose bib is to over there okay now essentially when i turn it on what's going to happen is it's going to expand to significantly uh, a significantly longer length okay so let's go ahead and let's turn it on i'm going to go to the hose bib over here i actually just put this in recently it's a new hose bib i moved it from further over there i did it all inside um through the uh through the uh joists and stuff like that so i moved it over here so this is all brand new and yes uh i was cleaning some paint brushes earlier that's why there's some paint on the wall but i do have to clean that anyway it's back to the demonstration let's turn this on and as soon as i turn it on i want you to watch how the hose expands okay so let's go ahead and let's turn it on like that now take a look at the hose look at what's happening to the hose it's getting longer it's expanding the sprinkler's on right and there's a little bit of pressure now but as the pressure builds up in the hose the sprinkler will all will gain a little bit more pressure as well so you can see how many more curves and swivels there are in this hose length okay essentially and it's still getting bigger as you can see look at that it, it looks pretty crazy when it's happening so you can see and you can see now the sprinkler is it has a lot more pressure because the hose is full of water so essentially when i turn the faucet on okay the hose ends up filling up with water and as the hose fills up with water it expands to a much 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 greater distance as you can see i'm getting a little bit wet here the sprinklers actually um getting i just planted some some flowers over there some perennials so it's water it's set to water those perennials and the grass is a bit dry but it's getting me a little bit wet over here so i'm going to turn it off momentarily i'm just going to step up for now but you can see it got much much bigger okay and essentially when I turn off the water, okay, and I release the pressure from the hose, it's gonna get smaller. So right now, as you can see, I'm gonna turn the water off. Let's go and let's turn this off like that. And as you can see, it's gonna start to get smaller and contract. So you can see the hose, uh, the, the sprinkler now has much less pressure. And if you take a look, let's, let's look at the hose right here. You can see it's actually contracting. So all of the swivels are now going to go away. Now, here's the thing. If you have a nozzle attached to it, right? I think I have a nozzle over here. Yeah. So let's say you have a nozzle attached to it. Like I have this nozzle over here. If I had this nozzle attached to it, until I squeeze this to drain the water from the hose, it's going to be stay expanded, right? When the, Even if the water's off, if you haven't drained the water from the hose, it's going to stay expanded, okay? So you, you, if you have a nozzle, you're going to have to squeeze this to drain out the water in order to get it to contract. And as you can see, it is getting smaller and it's contracting. And honestly, I mean, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these types of hoses just because they make life so much easier. You can see how much smaller it gets, okay? And then the sprinkler slowly loses pressure as now there's basically very little water, if, no, if not any water at all left in the hose. So that's it. I showed you how it expands, how it contracts, and how it works. When pressure builds up in the hose, it expands the hose length and it lengthens it. And then when pressure is removed from the hose, it contracts it. So when the water's off and there's no pressure in it, there's no water in the hose, it's relatively short. And then when you when you turn the hose bib on and you get water in the hose, you get pressure in the hose, it expands and lengthens to be like, I don't know, much longer. Like I said, I can't remember the length because I bought it, I think a couple of years ago, but you know, it gets a lot longer. It's way more than long enough for what we need it for when it's expanded. I mean, I can get to any area of the backyard essentially easily. I can water any area of the backyard with um, when it is expanded easily and down the sides of the house and everything. And I have a, an equivalent one in the front that I'm going to replace in the garage. So when I get my new one, um, because I want to get one that's longer for the front, when I get my new one, I'll be sure to review it because I'll have all the specifics of it because I'll, I'll be getting it uh, in the very near future so look forward to that video and maybe the next couple of weeks hopefully so that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching